If you have painful and progressive tissue buildup in your buttocks and legs, and maybe even into your arms, that does not go away no matter how much you diet or exercise, you might have something called lipedema. Lipedema is not the same as obesity, and in this video, you'll learn what lipedema is and how it's treated. I'm Dr. Alex Hill, and I'm a certified lymphedema therapist and board certified physical therapist. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any new videos about lymphedema and lipedema. Lipedema is a chronic condition and is a loose connective tissue disease. It presents as symmetrical buildup of nodular and fibrotic adipose or fat tissue on the buttocks, hips, and legs most commonly, but it can be seen in the arms and the trunk as well. The hands and the feet are usually not impacted compared to the legs and the arms. Lipedema typically develops among women and at times of hormone, weight, and shape change, including puberty, pregnancy, and menopause. The exact causes of lipedema are not known, but many factors, including hormones, genetics, inflammation, metabolism, and abnormalities within the lymphatic system can be contributors. People who have lipedema often experience easy bruising, skin sensitivity, fatigue, swelling in the affected body parts, again, typically the arms and the legs, a change in your skin texture with lumpy skin and often hypermobile joints. Many people with lipedema also have family members who have the lipedema presentation as well with large legs and a bottom that seem disproportionately large compared to their trunk and upper body. The severity of these symptoms can range from none to severe, and they can also be constant or come and go. So between this condition not being well known, it looks like obesity, plus the various symptoms that can be experienced with it, you can see why a diagnosis of lipedema is often missed or overlooked. If you have lipedema, ignore the people who are telling you to just lose weight. Lipedema tissue is difficult to reduce by diet, exercise, or bariatric surgery. So yes, it is important to exercise and eat healthy, but these interventions alone are not going to reduce your lipedema tissues because this tissue is different from normal fat cells. You need to make sure that you work with specialists who understand lipedema and lymphedema conditions to get the proper diagnosis and the best treatment. So we talked about how lipedema is not obesity, but lipedema is also not lymphedema. However, research shows that people with lipedema have an impaired lymphatic system that cannot transport lymphatic fluid effectively. This can worsen with advanced stages of lipedema, so you may also develop lipolymphedema, which is a combination of both lipedema and lymphedema. So you'll have that buildup of hard nodular painful tissue and you'll also have swelling related to the lymphedema. All right, so now that we know what lipedema is and what it isn't, let's go through what the treatment is. Lipedema is treated by focusing on improving lymphatic flow, managing pain, reducing inflammation, and improving your function and mobility like walking, bending, and lifting. Long-term diuretics or fluid pills solely used for lipedema should be avoided because this doesn't actually treat the primary contributors to lipedema, which is inflammation. However, current guidelines do recommend using medications to help manage any other medical issues and metabolic conditions and pain that are commonly seen among people who have lipedema. Make sure you talk with your medical provider about what medications might be appropriate for you. A certified lymphedema therapist or a CLT is one of the other healthcare providers that you definitely need to see to get evaluated and treated for lipedema. Lymphedema therapists have the specialized training to differentiate between lymphedema, lipedema, and other types of swelling conditions conditions and can work with you on your journey to better manage this chronic condition. Besides helping to reduce the swelling, they can also help you with any balance, pain, or mobility issues that you might have. I have links in the description below for resources to help you find a lymphedema therapist near you to start on your treatment. Next up for treatment is optimizing your nutrition. So whole foods, 
plant-based and low-carb diets, as well as paleo, keto, and rad or rare adipose disorders diets can be helpful for people who have lipedema. And nutrition suggestions for lipedema do vary, so make sure that you work with a dietitian to see if any of these research-based diets are appropriate for you. Remember, just simply reducing calories does not reduce the lipedema fat tissues. We're really trying to reduce the inflammation and improve your overall health and how the body functions with these optimal nutrition habits. Next up is stimulating the lymphatic system. So with the lymphatic system, we wanna stimulate it so that we're moving the lymphatic fluid throughout the body and getting it out of those affected areas and back into circulation. This can be done with either hands-on manual lymphatic drainage or MLD, or using an intermittent pneumatic compression device, also called a pump. So with manual lymphatic drainage, this is a specialized hands-on gentle manual technique that assists with moving the lymphatic fluid out and away from the affected body parts. And it's performed by a lymphedema therapist and that can be taught to you so you can perform it at home. I also have videos on my page that guide you through how to do this manual lymphatic drainage, especially for the legs and the arms. For the pneumatic compression devices or pumps, these are devices that can also help to move the fluid out of the affected areas. And these are used either in place of or in conjunction with MLD. They're especially helpful for people who have a lot of pain, they don't have a lot of mobility, or they have difficulty doing the manual lymphatic drainage themselves. Next is compression, which can involve compression bandaging and compression garments. Compression bandaging uses multiple layers of materials on the limbs to help reduce that swelling. Once the swelling in the limb is reduced as much as it can be, which may not be a lot with lipedema, then the compression garments are recommended to use. Since the tissues affected by lipedema typically are sensitive, many people benefit from a lighter graduated compression garment. To best manage swelling in the legs, thigh high compression stockings or pantyhose coming up to the abdomen are going to be the ones that are most beneficial. If the arms are affected, then a compression sleeve from your wrist to the top of your arm is then going to be recommended. You do want to get measured and fitted for the appropriate medical grade compression garments by a certified fitter or a CLT. If you've already had compression garments before, or if you already know what works for you, check out the Bright Life Direct link below in the description for a wide variety of compression garment options including stockings, sleeve, and compression for your trunk. I really like these active massage compression garments for lipedema, as I found a lot of people find them very comfortable to wear. They continually help to massage the tissues, they feel good, and you can get them at that Bright Life Direct link down below. So next up is exercise. Getting regular physical activity and exercise is a must if you have lipedema. Walking, cycling, yoga, aquatic pool exercises, and resistance training are all great options to start to get that lymphatic system moving more. For exercise outside the pool, make sure that you're wearing your compression. And the last treatment we'll talk about is surgery. Liposuction or lipectomy is the main surgical intervention for lipedema. This is not like a typical liposuction for weight loss because the lymphatic system and the connective tissues, there's a disorder with them. So we wanna make sure that this procedure is being performed by a surgeon who has the training to work with people who have lipedema. Although there's limited research, studies have found that liposuction may be effective in reducing the size of the extremities and complaints that are associated with lipedema, like pain and mobility. Before surgery, you should have prehab or working with a lymphedema therapist to improve any symptoms, swelling and mobility issues, and develop a good treatment routine before doing the surgery. After surgery, you will need to maintain the treatment interventions like using compression and MLD or using a pump that you established beforehand to best manage your lipedema long-term. All right, I hope you found this video helpful with understanding what lipedema is and isn't and how to treat it. For gentle exercise videos for lymphedema and swelling, keep watching until the end of this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos on lymphedema and lipedema management.